we will use the illustration in your book but not all of them so i just picked up uh, some of the problems so we will proceed with the first problem in the chapter so we have a uh, pittance company so pittance company provided the following information in connection with a bank loan so we have the transactions on march 1 pittance borrowed 2 million from bank on a six-month note carrying an interest of 12 percent per annum Accounts of 3 million are pledged to secure the loan. On April 1, pledged accounts of 1 million are collected, minus 2% discounts. June 1, collected remaining pledged accounts. And on September 1, repaid the bank loan plus the interest. So, requirement here is to prepare the journal entries. So, for March 1, the entry would be debit cash for the proceeds of the loan and credit note payable bank. So, if you're going to ask, ma'am, why discount? Because this is only a simple interest note. It did not state that there is an advanced interest. If it's an advanced interest nga note, then na I discount on note payable. Next, April 1, the pledging of the accounts. So, we have the, uh, uh, no, sorry, a collection of the pledge accounts, collection. So, debit, cash, but this would be determined later because we need to compute first the sales discount. That's 2% of the 1 million uh, accounts, so that's 20,000. And then credit accounts receivable 1 million. So the balancing figure were in difference na siya sa accounts receivable and sales discount. That would be 980,000. On June 1, there's collection. Okay. So remaining amount. So pila man tong original nag pledge Okay. So that's 3 million ang pledge accounts. Nakakolect na og 1 million. So, the remaining amount is 2 million. So, 3 minus 1, 2 million. So, debit cash, credit accounts receivable, 2 million. So, ang money nga makolekta na to from pledge, from the pledge accounts receivable, kita gihapon ang managiya. Diba? Kita gihapon ang makakolek. Atuan na siyang money. Ang, ang atuan trabaho ani or atong obligation ani is to remit to the bank ang katong related sa utang nato di ba ang utang nato kay 2 million man so magbayad ta note payable so i debit ang note payable to close the account 2 million then we have the interest so that's 12% times 2 million nga utang times 6 over 12 okay so nganong 6 over 12 man siya so, 12% is for one year. That's why it's 12 here, 12 months. And then, 6 yeah, because it's from March, April, May, June, July, August, September 1. So, 6 months yeah. So, 120,000. And the total payment to the bank is 2,120. So, ato abag yapon tong tanan nga cash nga nakolekta sa accounts receivable? The answer is yes, because we're still the owner of the accounts receivable. We only use the 3 million accounts as a pledge to be able to obtain the loan on March 1. Next problem, we have Idealist Company. So, ideal, Idealist Company secured a one-year bank loan of 4 million on October 1, 2020. The loan was discounted at 10%. So, the same shot ng illustration. The entity signed a note for the loan and pledged 5 million of its accounts receivable as collateral. So, 5 million ang AR, but the loan is only 4 million. So, required journal entries and statement, uh, a statement presentation on December 31. 
So first is requirement one in 2020, so debit cash, but we will determine it later. We need to get first the discount. So 10% of the 4 million loan is 400,000. Credit note payable bank 4 million. So the remainder 4 million minus 400,000, that's 3 million 600. And then on October 1, okay, we also need to uh, determine, so this is uh, not October 1, sorry, this is December 31. So this on December 31, December 31 is Shaha, we're going to amortize the discount on note payable. So there, there would be three months from October and then November and then December. So again, this is December 31, huh? December 31. So that's interest expense and credit discount on note payable. That's 100,000. So 400,000 giga na siya diri. Then times 3 because that's from October until December. Okay, so 3 months. Next is on 2021. So we're going to pay for the loan because this is a one-year bank loan. So bayaran na to siya. So debit note payable, 400,000 and credit cash sorry note payable bank 4 million and then credit cash 4 million and on december 31 okay so we're going to close the remaining uh discount on note payable so that's debit to interest expense credit discount because 400 minus 100,000 credit I'm sorry, 400,000 minus 100,000, that's 300,000. Actually, you can close already this amount on October 1. Uh, once you already disposed of the note payable. For the statement presentation, so again, this would be classified still in the uh, current liabilities and the pledge accounts will be uh, disclosed in the notes. So, for the presentation, you're going to present the liabilities only. Uh, so, you have note payable 4 million and then discount on note payable. So, this is dated 2020 ni siya, katong nag-exist pa ang loan. So, discount on note payable is 300,000. So, carrying amount is 3,700. And then, you're going to make a disclosure. So, this is in the notes to financial statement. So, accounts of... 5 million are pledged to secure a bank loan of 4 million pesos. Next, we have a savior company. Okay. So you might be confused in the given in the book, but we will follow savior because savior man ang name sa company sa heading. Okay. So on May 1, the same entity assigned 800,000 of the accounts receivable to a bank in consideration of a loan. Then there is a cash advance of 80% less service charge of 20,000 was made by the latter. It was agreed that interest of 2% per month is to be made and that the assignor, is again ang assignor katong nag uh, assign, diba? to sa Osaka entity continues to make the collections so therefore this is non notification kay si assigner siya maghihapon na mag-collect some uh, accounts receivable so the entity assigned entity signed a promissory note for the loan so to be the entry on May 1 debit AR assign and credit accounts receivable or AR and then record the proceeds after the assign. So, um, sorry, record the proceeds of the loan. So, we have the uh, establish the liability. So, credit note payable 640,000. Okay. Uh, how do you get 640,000? So, that's 80% of 800,000. 
and then you have the service charge which is 20,000 so that's given here so the remainder is your cash proceeds of 620,000 so this was this is the amount you're going to get after you have loaned the amount on May 5 there is um credit memo issued to a customer for return merchandise diba pag mag return si customer so i-credit na to yahang account sumakoan so, yahang account so, man, siya na credit memo the account is one of the assigned accounts so the entry would be sales return then credit ar assigned 30000 next on may 10 there's a collection of 500,000 of the assigned accounts minus the 2% discount so what would be the entry so determine the sales discount that's two percent of five hundred thousand so that's ten thousand and then credit ar assigned five hundred thousand and the remainder is four hundred ninety thousand nga cash collection next on june 1 remitted the collections to the bank so katong na na collect na to plus two percent interest for one month so what will be the entry? So debit note payable bank for the 419 a collection atong e forward sa bangko i remit na to. And then record the interest expense which is 2% of 640,000 kay mao man ang utang. So that's 12,800 and credit cash total of 502,800. So ang total amount nga atong ibayad sa bangko would include the principal of the note plus the interest. On June 7, assigned accounts of 10,000 proved to be worthless. So debit allowance and credit AR assigned. So kung worthless na siya, di ba, wala na siya pag-asa ng uh, makolekta, you're going to write it off. Di ba? Written off. Account written off. On June 20, collected 200,000 for the accounts assigned. So, debit cash, credit AR assigned or accounts receivable assigned. On July 1, there is a final settlement with the bank and remitted the total amount due to the bank to pay off the loan plus the interest charge. So, that would be, uh, this would be the entry and how do we get the amount that you're going to pay. So, you have 640,000 diba mo ni siya original nga utang o yung nakabayad naman ta partial o 490,000 so the remaining amount to be paid based on face value is 150,000 and then remember that the interest is 2% per month so that would be for July you have interest expense 2% of 150,000 that's 3,000 and credit cash 153,000. And since we already settled the note in full, so kinang na natong i restore ang remaining AR assigned into ordinary accounts receivable. So i restore ang accounts receivable from their AR assigned nga account. So, debit accounts receivable and then credit AR assigned. So, okay. So, how do we compute for that one? So, the original accounts receivable assigned is 800,000 less collections. So, we have, um, you have AR assigned, you have 490. And then we have 200. Okay, so these are the collections 490 and then 200. And then there's a sales discount of 10,000. Na I deduction. And then na I sales returns. Okay, katon na credit memo. And then worthless accounts. Na 10,000. So total deductions is 740,000. So, the remaining AR assigned nga atong i-restore to ordinary accounts receivable would be 60000 If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!